Metamorphosis. What's happened to me, he thought. Franz Kafka. As for myself, wherever there was a street going indifferently about her business, I was the dog. At first, I wept. I became its beatings, shitting on command, bred and bred into more and more of it. I crouched behind its bark, still as a stone axe. I lunged at the greasy picnic on the table of some lawn. I was dog's belonging, dog told me. We were nothing in and of ourselves. We were one fiction abusing another. My nose became an organ of thoughtfulness. My ears were shells in which the seas of the voices of the world thrashed and night fell, day rose. The old died, the young went on. One night I lay down and in the morning I was dog and my actions were fetched by orders. Fetch, lie down, lie down here. Shaggy mat of thought, intellect swarming on a leash of woofs. I howled at the door of my own mind, wanting out of that empty house. The tide of abstract thought receded. I grew hush and flat, marooned inside the odd blessings of appetite. The voices of the masters perched above us said, you are just a gregarious piece of furniture. The war came and went beyond the bars of my life. I was dog. Then I embraced it. Then I was undone and replaced by it. Well, I have done what the nightmare thing, which is to forget one page. Okay. This is from a small play in the middle of my book called The Mongrelogues, and it has a cast of characters uh, that includes dog, a dog in dog's clothing, mistrust, dog's mistress, ah, a book. Dramatist personae, dog, a dog in dog's clothing, mistrust, dog's mistress, the pleas, police and dog catchers, the court, interrogators, the cold, the war, a river and shore, and cameo appearances by a distant metropolis, a fence, a nation, and in order of appearance, William Langland, George Harriman, Fernando Pessoa, John Berryman, John Wycliffe, and Rachel Blau Duplessis. The settings, a nameless street, a small town, a small room, a fence yard, a jail, a court, a dog pound. The action, dog is lost, meets mistrust, is found, has a day, endures, hard times, snarls, is abandoned, forsaken, arrested, interrogated, and meditates upon the world. The time, no time, like the present. Act one, stray dog, nameless street, sounds of traffic and panting, dog is lost. I was following a boot down the avenue, the smell of wet meat clung to it. I was leaping over ashes and trashes without a license, running from the pleas with their gas and net and boot. I thought this is the life, a planet of ruin and disorder and the dogs of the world running the world. From the doorway wags the long smell of coffee. We have gone to the dogs, I heard someone saying. There was a door in it. I went into it. How dog got its name. A small town. Dog meets mistrust. Here in the 21st century, 
at all nighter diner in egg yolk on time at the edge of some senorita the lamps of fuggy shine was shining and sitting in a booth she wrote life is boring though we must not say so is worse than that i mumbles underneath the table where the pages with alphabets was hanging on to one another and stepping out from underneath those thunders i ventured what are you reading and writing about about you she said well what am i dubbed dog she said better is a live dog than a dead lion better is the dog you know than the one you don't i thought interior mongrelog dog is found and yet an idea wiggles its ruffles at me thoughtfulness gropes for me the nation went to the dogs what did it matter i was a dog and she she was a leash without a dog i grew wags and i looked up at her dog house dog has a day they told me each dog has its door i walked into this one i gnaw on the shoes i how i try on the howls it was raining it was snowing upon the narrow houses i barked at the undertakers and at the melancholy howl of the freights and at the melancholy howl of the freights mistrust i am weary of the struggle not to be dog as iron filings must weary of the magnet but now i am dog i will be dog of the yard leaping frantic and dutiful like a public fountain like a piston ramming against a housen leaping leaping is my steady job tough times dog and mistrust endure hard times We is living in medieval and medicated times. I said to her, "Make the best of it. Get with the program," said I. "Which program is that?" she wondered. "Dogs eating dogs. Dog does not eat dog," is the saying. 